So as many of you long time subscribers will know, I made the moulds for these parts over a year ago. Um, life got in the way, got busy and now I've got a little bit of time to myself. Not much, got a day to myself, so I'm going to make a start and then carry the rest on bit by bit at night. Um, but for now, this is what we're going to be doing. So I've got some stuff set out. Um, I think what I've done is these are the rear arches we made. Uh, I've not polished them, I was always going to polish them. Um, but I've decided just to go f with it with what they are. Because we're making them out of fiberglass, we can sand the gel coat and stuff to get them perfectly smooth. So I had a, little, a couple of little damages that I fixed up with some gel coat. There wasn't much point in showing you that, I just put some gel coat on it. So these are obviously one piece each. Um, for those of you who remember, the side skirts are two piece. And the front, front ones are three piece. They're out in the back guys just now because they're massive. So I'm going to go the easy route first and do the rears. So they're going to need they're going to need waxed, maybe five layers of wax on them, polished off, and then a couple of layers of the PVA release film, and then we can go into doing the gel coat and the fiberglass. So I've had this stuff sitting here again for ages. I've got 300 gram of chop strand matting. Um, I've got some gel coat over there in the big tin and some resin. These are, this is tooling resin I've got left over from making the moulds. I think it's slightly different to what you can, I could use. It's probably more expensive, but I've got it. So I'm going to use that along with the hardener. Um, I've still got the yellow wax because the two-piece mould, I'll just take you over and show you. Let's see if we can focus in on it. So where the mould comes together, this is the bottom of the side skirt. Um, you need to fill that with the wax all the way along just so when you're putting your resins and all the rest of it and it just doesn't seep through. So that's that. I've got some, still using the 6mm chop strands. Mix it up with the resin, put it into all the tight radiuses that the, the matting just might struggle to conform to. All the usual cups, brushes, scales, cutters, gloves. And the first, first action plan, I've got some paper here. Kind of wallpaper if you like and I'm going to try and make a pattern of it. So I'm going to put the paper in, lay it out, try and get a full shape of it, and then I can bring that over to the, the chop strand mat and cut out the shape. That way I can just maybe cut, I think we're going to go for three layers plus the reinforcing in the corners where the chop strand is. Eh, sorry, the, yeah, the chop strands, is the six mil stuff. Put that in the corners plus three full layers, and we'll see how strong that comes out. So, first things first, we'll do the paper mould and then we'll go into the wax and we'll get this done as quick as you can for you. Well, I come back to the camera there and it was off, so I don't know how much of that was recorded, but we, well, I decided that once the paper was done, it was too much of a pain to work with, so I just made a few plywood templates there. We'll set them to the side now, and then we're going to the really fun job of waxing this umpteen times. Well, you work up a sweat doing that, that's for sure. So I've kind of copped out a little bit. I've only done three, three layers of wax. Um, buffed it all off. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the arse. And now I'm going to do two layers of the PVA. And then once that dries, straight on to two layers of gel coat. And then it's getting to the fun part where we put the fiberglass in. But yeah, I've got a couple hours yet just to put these, put this other stuff in, let it dry, before we put the next layer on. So we'll just get cracked on. Hey, na, 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 na. Please, won't you come over? 
Let me get to know ya. Hey, na, 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 na. Delve into emotion. Leave us in this moment. That's the two layers of the black gel coat. It's kind of going off now. It's been about two hours, uh, so it's now for the time for the fun stuff, the fiberglassing. So it's about three layers to do in each, and it's about ten o'clock at night. So I'll probably not get to my bed till well after midnight. All worth it though. So here we go. <laughs>
Okay folks, after a late night last night, we're around about 22 hours, 22 hours later. Um, during the day I've just put some of the white tartan wax on the side step, because from that gap I was talking about before. But now is the time. Thank you though. Fucking epic. Jimmy Clarkson says, I did a thing! Ah, oh, so chuffed, folks, so chuffed. Set that to the side, we've got to do it all over again. paint on that somewhere as if it's took some of the gel coat but it might be no it'll be with the gel coat that I touched in it's going to be still not full of cure the rest of it looks good oh I am going to have a break catch my breath and do the next one Struggle. That's, that's been 
just over an hour to those two at the moment. It's some tough, tough work. But I can't believe how they've come out. It's not even a damaged corner. Nothing. Everything's perfect. Whew. Well, getting washed and cut tomorrow. So, the inside of them. This bit here runs along here. Up in there and then down here, that all sits onto the bodywork. So that needs to be an exact size. So once we've got it cut, I need to get in with the sander and sand that. So it's about fiberglass needs to be about two mil thick for it to sit onto the body. So that'll be quite a time consuming job getting that right, but once it's right, hopefully hopefully it should just sit straight straight on. The whole point of making these was I didn't have any rivets or anything, so all that tucks under the quarter glass and under the boot lid and then in the door, seal there in the door wheel. So the only place I need to put some fixings really is along the side skirt and then the back, just at the back quarter there. So yeah, that's enough for tonight. I'm going to get my breath back before I go to bed. <sighs> See you tomorrow guys. Shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Cause you're a work of art
There we go, guys. It is on. So, as you've seen there, I had to sand the backs of these so they only become about two mil thick all the way down there and down the lights. Um, next next time I make a set, I probably won't put as much fiberglass on these parts because I did have to sand quite a bit out of them. Um, but as you can see, everything is fitting the way I wanted it to fit. Sorry from this angle. No, obviously the car's still to be lowered a bit. That's fine. Um, the door, you'll be able to see there, the door does shut, but it's pretty tight because obviously we've added two mil thickness onto here, so that closes the gap. Um, I've got carbon fiber doors for the car, so I'm going to be taking two mil off the doors just so they shut and they won't rub on them. Um, eventually these will be made out of carbon fiber, so I don't want anything rubbing and scraping off the, the finish of it. Anything else? Um, no, I mean, along the lights here. Quite a good fit. I had to take because of the extra two mil up in this corner here. Took a little shaving off the edge of the light. But apart from that, everything else fits in. I may go down right along the bottom of the, the light and take another couple of mil off it, but for now it seems okay. So I think that's it. Let me see if I turn this round. <coughs> So yeah, that's it for this video guys, um, hope you enjoyed it. The next video I'll put up will probably be the side skirts, but I am doing some work on my 350Z Nismo and fixing the gallery gaskets on that, so either the video for that will already be up before this video or after, so have a look out for that. Um, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button, it helps YouTube share it about a little bit. And until next time guys, thanks very much.